What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. In this particular video, I'm gonna show you how to do a base map in Honda Tuning Suite. This is the latest version, so let's dive right into it. So what you wanna do is go up here to file. You're gonna click new, okay? Now, depending on what particular ECU you got, that's gonna depend, that's gonna determine which one of these you, you choose. Now, I highly advise you, if you have an ODB0, to convert it to ODB1. It's a very, very simple process. It's a very simple process to do. So just do that because OBD0, I'm not even sure if it's really supported on here. Plus, you are going to need a base map that has already been generated. That'll make your life a whole lot easier. So we're going to start out with OBD1 ECU. So you want to come here, come up here and name it. And I'm going to name this demo because that's what it is. And then you're going to click ODB one and you want to go to the latest version, which is 1.15 on my version. So you'll click on that. Click next. Now on this particular screen, this is where you're going to determine your map sensor. You're going to determine if you have a turbo, you're going to go ahead and get those particular tables set up and all of the good stuff. We're going to assume that you are primarily stock. You hadn't changed anything. You just slapped the turbo on there and you're ready to go. Now, I will say this. If you're using these 240 injectors, you're going to be screwed. But for the sake of the discussion, we're going to leave these alone. Now, so you got a stock map sensor, 1.75 bar. If you click on this drop down, they already have tons of different versions. I mean, map sensors that you can select from if you do not have a stock map sensor, if you have an aftermarket map sensor. But for the sake of this, we're going to leave the stock one in. Now, if you do, in fact, have different injectors than the 240 that came within with your engine, you will select your new injector. Let's say you got 750 CC injectors. You're going to type that in right there and then look, they got it. Well, it's going to tell you to calculate trim values and it's going to send you to this particular screen. Look at all of these various injector templates that are already here. We're going to say you have a low impedance RC engineer in 750 cc so you're going to click that now your offsets are already there you don't even have to worry about figuring it out or nothing for transmission if you have the stock transmission for civic just select that if you have an ls transmission you'll select that we'll select ls that's what i have in mind now the next thing you want to do is come over here and look at your boost if you are running turbo you will want to add you will, you will want to click rescale for boost. If you do not, then you don't want to click this. There's no need for it. You can, but it won't matter. Um, then the next thing you want to do, do you want to enable boost cut? I highly suggest you do, especially if you rock in a stock system, but let's just say you're not. And you know that your system will probably do about 10 PSI, but you ain't tuned it yet. So I would set it probably at about six PSI. That's up to you. Now, the number of columns, this determines how many columns out here you want to add. Now, the more columns you add, that's the more boost level. You, um, that means the greater the boost level that you're going to see on your tables. So we'll add 14 fuel per PSI. Leave that at 120. Every video I've seen, everybody just leaves it at 120. Down here, this is very important. This is concerning your timing, your retard per PSI, one degrees. Use that, you should be good to go initially. So for every pound of boost, HTS is going to retard your timing one degree. Okay, these just leave these alone, leave them alone. You click next. Now, if you have VTEC, you'll want to enable that. Let's assume you don't have VTEC. We're going to leave that just like it is. This is your rev limit. This is the rev limit that is currently defaulted to. You select one of those, it's going to change. Now, now you don't want to really base this off your ECU. Base it off the in engine that you have. For instance, if you have a B18B, 
and you have a US model, you want to click B18B. Notice your rev limit is set to 7,000. Now, of course, you can adjust that to wherever you want, but you don't know what you're doing. So we're going to leave it at 7,000 because you don't know what you're doing yet. And then you click finish. Now, as you can see, pull that down. You can go up to 11.2 pounds of boost. Now, what we're going to go back and change something because I don't remember if I told you this. So, but we're going to check. So now that you got your fuel map set up, you got your table set up, whoop, 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 there's your ignition table. You don't need this particular table because you did not select VTEC, I believe. You got your air fuel. This is very important. This is going to be very important, very important because this is the map that you're going to be putting in to your car, ECU. This is going to be blank because once you start data logging, this will fill up. So don't worry about that right now. Next, you want to go over to parameters. When you click on parameters, go to your main settings and click on options and sensors. If you have an idle control valve in your car, you want to disable, excuse me, you want to leave that unchecked. If you don't have one, you want to check it. It's very important. Otherwise, you can pretty much leave this as it is. I normally, I have a stick, so I'm disabling that. Ain't got no traction control. If you are running an O2 sensor, you'll want to keep that in closed loop. If you do not have an O2 sensor because you're just running a wide band, then you want to close that. That way your uh, ECU will always run in open loop and that's what you want. Anything else you can just leave blank, leave those blank. Don't even worry about them. Then we're just going to run through these. You don't need to set that. You don't need to set none of this right now because you don't know what you're doing. And all you're doing is just trying to get your car to a tuner so they can do all of this good stuff no VTEC if you did have VTEC you can come back here and enable it here if you did if you didn't do it when you we were setting it up rev shift limits you just leave that alone if you want to enable a shift light you know you can set that right here but like I said we're just doing a base map so leave all all of that alone Disable closed loop. We've already talked about that. Disable O2 heater. Map sensor. We've already established that we're using a stock. TPS. We're not going to do anything to that. If you were actually tuning it, then you would want to check that. And you would want to connect it to the ECU and, um, and calibrate. Fan control. If you have a fan thermostat is hooked up like it's supposed to be leave that on my fan is on a switch so i don't need this shit because i control it manually transmission we already set that up in the last screen if you have a custom gear ratio then you'll want to do that and set that accordingly but again we're just doing a base map so you are going to leave that as is then the next step fuel injector calibration We've already done that. We've already talked about that. So don't even worry about that. And most of this stuff at this point, you can leave exactly like it is nothing. Three step launch control. If you were going to set up two step, you would set that right here. But again, we're doing a base map. So don't worry about that. But if you wanted to, this is where you would do it. And each one of these will determine on what is used for it to engage. Now, what I was talking about earlier, I don't know if I talked about boost cut. I think I did. Yes, I did. Because we have boost cut set at six pounds. Uh, Because you don't want to, you know, maybe you want to get happy with it or whatnot before you even get any tuning. You, you definitely want to stay out of boost. But let's just say you accidentally did put that enable boost cut. That way you won't blow your shit up before you get to the tuner. Or at least you won't. Um, it decreases your chances of blowing it up. And that's pretty much all you want to set on this particular screen. Now you got your car all set up, ready to go. Base map, boop to boop, boop. Now what you can do as well is, you see how these graphs is looking over here. You want this as smooth as possible. So what you can do is click on whatever uh, map you got. Click on this box right here and smooth it out. That ain't doing nothing. Let's click on the air fuel, smooth it out. That ain't doing nothing. Normally, that would be moving. We're going to leave it like it is now. Now, so you got it ready to go. You got it ready to go to load into your computer. 
if you were connected to a computer, then you, if you had an emulator, then you would click that to upload it. Okay. Um, if you are burning this to a chip, you would click on file chip and go straight to write chip. I don't have a thing hooked up, so we're not going to get into that right now. And depending on what chip you're using, you would select that. Depending on which region on the chip you're using, you will select that and you will click right. Once you click right, it will go. It will erase anything that was previously on there. It will it will burn the chip and then it'll verify that it burned correctly. And then you want to put it in your car and you ready to go for a ride to get your ass to the tuna. Anyway, this is a quick overview on how to use HTS. Very, very easy to learn. I just figured it out myself by watching other YouTube videos. I figure I'd do one too. Okay, let me know what you think in the comments. This your boy. Peace.